Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today on today's webinar, Publishing Children's Picture Book with Yuhu Press. My name is Helen Wu, I'm the Associate Publisher of Yuhu Press. I'm also, the children's, I'm also a children's author and illustrator over 20 picture books. Uh, first, I want to introduce a little bit about Yuhu Press. Uh, Yuhu Press is an independent publisher headquartered in Los Angeles, California. Uh, it's part of Shanghai Yihe Industry Corporation, which was founded in 2007. It published over 200 titles per year. Um, uh, Shanghai Yihe published um, like uh, children's books, textbooks, English magazine, and social science and arts. So we have a wide, a wide range of books we publish in China. And we also have um, a publishing partner, Phoenix Publishing and Media Group. It's one of the largest state-owned publishing houses in China. And we share uh, marketing resources, such as um, the access, access to uh, educational markets and uh, um, different distributors in different pr uh, provinces in China. And uh, um, Yuhu Press here uh, currently uh, focus, uh, publish uh, children's books and uh, um, English magazines. So we pay, uh, we pay for, picture, for children's books uh, we pay authors and illustrators royalties and uh, um, advances. For uh, Phoenix English Magazine, uh, you can go to the link here and check our sample page. Uh, we pay uh, authors and illustrators flat fee for the magazine. Uh, our acquisition process is that all the submissions will go to me first and I will um, I will read every submission and make, uh, make recommendations to our team in China based on the writing uh, and uh, uh, how the topic fits the US market. Uh, and our team in China will also go through every submissions. Uh, every submission will be read by at least the two editors there and they will evaluate um, uh, how the topic fits the China market. And then we will um, come up a list of you know, topics that fit both markets and also um, you know, fit our own list, such as uh, currently we kind of like uh, looking for um, emo books about emotions, critical thinking. We will go to that later. Um, and then we will plug in, uh, have an evaluation how many copies we, we can sell because some titles are uh, have stronger commercial hook, some titles kind of like more in a niche market. Uh, so we will plug in numbers and uh, make a profit and loss statement and uh, come up a number for advances. And, um, uh, and we will also uh, try to develop some merchandise around the book. It could be toys such as the plush, uh, pl uh, plush animals, uh, or it could be like board games, uh, some activity books. Um, as we, it depends on what kind of book uh, it's about. If it's a character driven, we probably develop some merchandise around that character. If it's more like a, um, the art style is a, a very like, it's a, like a fine art style, we might develop some journals or uh, notebooks or postcards cards around, around the book. So it depends on the book and the art style. So overall, we will make um, a marketing plan and uh, uh, for each book. Um, our um, edit, uh, editorial process is that um, all the, uh, after acquisition, uh, uh, we will have an American editor here in the US to do the actual editing work. Um, all the American editors we collab uh, collaborated with, they all have years of experience in large publishing houses, such as uh, DK Publishing, uh, Penguin, uh, Sterling. So they all have years experience uh, you know, uh, editing award winners and the best selling books. And truly they will help us to bring the story to the next level. Uh, we will, uh, after acquisition, we will set up a phone call with the author to um, get an idea of author's vision of the story since they were 
really um, several different uh, possible po uh, possible directions for revision, and uh, we want to um, know what's author's vision and uh, try to line it up with our goal for the book. Uh, we for we, when we do revision, we will start with the story level, the structure of the story, and then move to the plot level to uh, try to have a compelling beginning um, and how the uh, middle, the end, and uh, uh, try to have um, a good tension and conflict. So, and then we will move to the line level. Usually between the story level and plot level, uh, phone calls will be much easier to communicate and brainstorm um, ideas. And when, it, when, we, when we move to the line level, it, we will use a um, word, uh, uh, word file to um, just uh, make comments and uh, uh, track uh, revisions there. So um, it's kind of like our revision process. Uh, we, when we, um, we will always have a checklist to, does the story have a clear theme? Does it have an intriguing beginning? Uh, does it have um, interesting characters? Does the, um, the uh, uh, dialogues and ge uh, gesture reflect their personalities? And uh, does it have um, clear problems and main uh, character solving the problem? Does it have a, a satisfying ending? And how about the punchlines? We want the book has some punchlines so readers, it's just easier for readers to you know, remember this book. Um, and then for the illustration process, uh, we will, uh, our art directors, illustrators, and there's author will all, um, will all be on board. And uh, usually during the editorial process, we'll start to select illustrators and we will invite our authors to come up a list of illustrators that um, the author likes. Uh, and uh, we might not end up uh, with one of those illustrators, but we will try to find uh, whose art style is close to what the author's like. We just don't want the author's vision of the story is completely different than our vision since for example sometimes uh, author wants some um, cartoonish or a comic style but if we want a like um uh very traditional painting style like oil painting has going to be very different that means our visions are different so then we need a conversation on that so usually uh, we will try to um, you know, have this conversation early in, uh, in the stage and invite the author into uh, this illustration process as well. Um, and uh, um, that way, uh, since you know, eventually that book are, you know, those, those books are author's book and the author's name are uh, on the cover and we want our authors to be proud of their books. So, um, yeah, when we set up, when we um, choose the art style and uh, which illustrator we will work with, we will move to the character design stage. So uh, the, uh, the illustrator will have several different designs such as skin color, um, uh, hairstyle, some uh, outfits and accessories. So truly use these details to bring, uh, bring the book to life. and. Um, give some special personalities to the character. And we will also invite author to um, you know, uh, ch choose these characters and uh, see if any of this, um, you know, these details match the uh, author's vision of the character. And um, so usually all this stage, we all, different parties will be involved and all on board and wait in opinion. So uh, we make sure everyone's on the same page and have the same vision of where the direction of the book can be. So, and next we will go to, we'll move to the sketch, a uh, sketch uh, process uh, il when illustrators have a black and white sketch of a uh, whole uh, uh, story, we will also uh, present to author to, um, and discuss the uh, page turn, the pacing, and sometimes uh, this, this part we will need to adjust the text somehow, and uh, then author will need to you know tweak the text and to uh, have a, be a better uh, page turns and pacing, and and uh, when all these are set and uh, 
we will move to the full color stage. Uh, usually we start from just a, a very rough color palette and to count the set the tone of each page, uh, what kind of emotion of each page, and we will move to the next stage to fine tune every page. That's kind of like our illustration process. And then when it comes to book production, we also have a lot of things to consider. For example, end papers, uh, it could be um, a separate ended book or self-ended book. A separate ended books, the end papers are different kinds of paper, usually it's a solid color. And for self-ended uh, book, the end papers are the same material of the in interior page, but you can you you can uh, have uh, different designs, illustrations on the end papers. So that's uh, um, have a little bit something nice to have for a book. So you you can use end papers to ease in the book, in the easing the story and ease out the story. And then we will also consider different types of paper. Some art style works better in, on certain types of uh, paper. Like if it's um oil painting style, and we prop the, the we will consider some textural paper. Uh, it just uh, it feel nice to touch those textures. Uh, if it's a cartoonish or a comic style, it might be better just to use standard matte paper. Uh, and then for the jacket design, also sometimes we have books with the uh, the jacket. Uh, design is different than the cover, so it's nice when you move the remove the jacket. It's the cover is a different design. So it's a fun and interesting. But sometimes it also this kind of design also increases the cost because when you sell the book in bookstores, there are uh, like around fifteen to twenty percent return rate uh, rates, and uh, usually return book the jacket uh, has some some sort of damage. But if the jacket is the same design of the cover, even you lose the jacket, you still can sell the book. But if the jacket is a totally different design of the cover, um, you if the jacket has some sort of damage, you can use it and you have to replace the jacket. And uh, if the books are run out of the uh, extra stock, stock of jackets, you, they have to order it from um, you know, factory and it just, um, it, it, it takes longer and uh, a little bit more expensive. But anyway, we will take all these factors into consideration when we make a decision what kind of uh, uh, jacket design we will go for. And uh, then it's the merchandise. We will um, we will evaluate each book. What kind of merchandise we want to develop to support the book as a product? Sometimes uh, it's a toy, sometimes board game, or journals, or notebook, or postcards, or uh, like a, um, some uh, prints. So it's all possible. Um, we have our own printing facility, so it's uh, easy for us to develop those products around the book. Uh, just uh, we need to choose the perfect uh, type of merchandise to support the pro support the book. And for marketing materials, we will also um, provide free printing marketing materials such as uh, uh, postcards, cards, uh, posters some activity books or coloring books for the book launch. So it's just something nice to, uh, we, we, we want to provide to our authors and help them uh, market the book. And uh, here is the publishing timeline. Um, it really, it takes um, uh, one to three months for market research and acquisition. And here it doesn't include the time of uh, reading or waiting, uh, uh, wait the manuscript waiting to be read, because that uh, currently we have around two hundred submissions already, and uh, since we change the um, acquisition process and our team are start to read, uh, go through all the old submissions, make sure we don't uh, miss any uh, any good ones. And currently we, we are on, I think, 50 of them. Uh, so uh, yeah, we, we, it takes time to um, for us to read the, 
sorry, but when we like some uh, manuscript and it will go to, you know, we will do market research and uh, several rounds of, of acquisition meeting and usually take around one to three months. Um, and then after acquisition, we will have a develop, uh, uh, de uh, editorial development. Um, usually it will be another one to three months to, um, to revise the text and uh, um, have like phone calls with the author and uh, revise and finally uh, have a final version of the uh, text draft. And then we move to the illustration state. As it usually it takes six months to one year. Sometimes the some illustrators we collab collaborated with are pretty. You know, they, their turnaround times are really fast. We we they can finish a book in two months or four months, but usually six months to one year is more typical. Um, and then proofread it will take around uh, one to two weeks, and then it's a um, uh, pre-order uh, stage. It will take around uh, four to six months. Uh, we will send all our books to uh, editorial reviews and they ask for uh, at least uh, four months uh, prior to uh, publication. So we will, um, ha yeah, usually we will uh, set, get the book ready to review like around five months ahead of publication, just to, to make sure we don't miss the deadline. And during this stage, uh, we will start the pre-order on Amazon and some uh, books uh, selling uh, uh, channels and the, all the marketing and sales will also start during this time. And finally, as uh, printing, shipping, warehousing, it will take around two months. And finally, it's book launch. So. For typical uh, traditional publishing timeline, it will take uh, around two years. The fastest will take one year. Our manuscript wish list. Uh, if you go to the link, uh, you will see all the detail of our um, uh, manuscript wish list, especially the last three uh, symbols, essential and the uh, essence and the appearance theory of mind. We have very detailed explaining of each category and uh, we even have videos and to explain uh, how we uh, come up these topics. We will publish the English version here in the U.S. and the Chinese version in China. Uh, for books in U.S. usually it's uh, they're published and promoted individually but in China sometimes um, it's pretty. It's pretty common that they're uh, they're promoted in a series, and uh, sometimes they these books are by the same author and same illustrator, but different stories. But sometimes they're they're by different authors and different illustrators. But the with they're with uh, they're of uh, similar uh, things. Such they are all about emotions, but different approaches to um, interpret uh, interpret this theme, and uh, or it's all about STEM book, but different approach as well. So in China, it's it, the books are pretty cheap, and I think it's one fifth or one fourth of the price here. So usually readers there tend to buy. Uh, several books at a time and it's uh, uh, it's more budget wise for uh, publishers to promote several books all together that's why we will develop a series of books and for a series of books it could be anywhere from three books to ten books for example in June and in July we will um, uh, launch two series of books in China they are all in simplified Chinese one theory have three books, another theory have 10 books. So um, it could be anywhere between three to 10 books. Um, we, we, are, we keep updating our manuscript wish list. For example, this uh, myth, uh, legends and fairy tales in previous manuscript wish list, we don't have this category, but recently we got one a book with this, um, you know, in this genre, but uh, we haven't seen much from other submissions. And if we want to promote the book, we'd better have a series of them. So that's why we put the, this category in our series. So we hope to get another two books in, you know, similar 
with similar theme or similar genre so we can uh, establish a theory and then we can uh, publish and promote them together. If it's just the one book in that is so unique theory, it's difficult for us to promote in China. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's why we are we keep updating our manuscript wish list. Uh, if you um, so if as long as your book has a universal appeal, education purposes, and a commercial hook, I think basically all fit our uh, wish list. Even it, it, that category isn't on our, our wish list yet, and uh, we might put it on later if we like your story. So, yeah. Um, here are some resources that have helped me along the way as an author and illustrator. Uh, so I just want to put it here uh, that might be helpful for our fellow writers and illustrators. Um, SCPWI, like uh, Storytell Academy, 12 by 12 Picture Book Challenge, Kelly 4 on 1, uh, Society of Visual Storytelling, uh, that's for illustrators. Uh, Publishers Weekly, uh, Publishers Marketplace, and the manuscript wish list. Uh, there are resources that um, the, I think they all have free um, uh, free resources to get a sense of what the uh, what they what they are about and what resources they provide. They'll have some paid versions if you want to be a membership. So okay, thank you very much, everyone. Um, uh, in the future, we will also have some other free uh, webinars to talk about our um, like uh, more detailed and in depth about our process how uh, of how a book is made from scratch. See you in the future webinars. Thank you very much.